Well, good morning. It is Tuesday. I'm sorry, Wednesday, <laughs> November 15th. Really doesn't matter what day of the week it is out here, but it is Wednesday, and that's the idea lose track of time. But we are just south of Iron Mountain Shelter, and it's a beautiful morning. And if everything goes right, it should be a lot warmer than yesterday. And the pathway, as you can see, is gentle, flat, and beautiful. A rarity on the AT. And so far, so good. See how far the legs take us. Feeling a lot better this morning than the last few miles into the shelter. Um, all the way from Uncle Nick to the shelter, I was dragging ass, and uh, that happens sometimes. It takes a while to get trail legs, and I think I needed some nutrition. I had some mac and cheese last night, and a nice hot pot of apple cider tea. That was good. Nice and warm before we jumped into the sleeping bag. And now, our next landmark is going to be Vandeventer which is roughly seven miles, seven and a half, something like that. And when I came through here in the spring, I remember this being a really easy section between the two shelters. Of course, I was coming from the opposite direction, but as you can see, it's pretty flat. So we don't lollygag on sections like this. We move fast while we can because as soon as we hit the uphill, it's going to slow us right down. Anyway, whoever's watching this, whenever you're watching it, I hope your day is as good as mine's going so far. And we will see you down the trail. We have just left, just left Vandeventer Shelter. It's a nice long break in the sunshine. It's a beautiful day, and we are currently going through a rhododendron thicket, which my trekking pole keeps, keeps getting caught on. Anyway, nice long break. Got to dry out Lofty, and uh, none of you have met Lofty yet, but you'll get introduced sooner or later. Everything is dried out. Good grief, there's a lot of vegetation around here. So, I'm gonna spin around here, and down there is Watauga Lake. Really nice views of the lake there, between the rocks. A cool section. I hope you get to come out and do it sometime if you haven't already. Okay, it continues to be a beautiful day. And we are approaching Watauga Lake, and that in the foreground is the dam, which means that it's a beautiful day. And right over there in the center of the screen, that's Cardin's Bluff Campground. Uh, one of my favorite park and pitch spots. Um, beautiful campsites. Most of them all have views of the water. And uh, I like to take my canoe out here. Well, we've been sitting here maybe five minutes tops, and there goes the sun. So it's about to get really cold, and no point in sitting around any longer. So I think we're gonna finish our break and bust out the last few miles to 321. It's too cold to be sitting around right here. Okay, so guess where I am? You're never going to guess. Um, so I'll tell you, this is uh, the Privy at Boots Off Hostel. No, it's not the Radisson. It's uh, not the Four Seasons. But check this out. This is the nicest Privy I think I've ever been in. You know, we've got like a toilet brush and a plunger. Flush toilet. Uh, even equipped with some Lysol early morning breeze so if you've got you know giardia infused um, waste you can get rid of that odor 
We got soap, we got shaving cream, we got electricity, we got paper towels, a trash can. Check this out. You don't even have to put your Giardia fingers on the trash can. And then we've got uh, a heater down there. And actually that should probably be a P-trap going into a vent stack, but uh, that's okay. I'll give you a pass. I've got to give this privy six stars out of five. It's the best preview I've ever been to in my entire life. And I gotta tell you, at this point in time, I feel like a new man. Okay, on to Hampton.